Hello and welcome everyone. I am C.S. Gilmore and this is Subterrain. We are headed to the Piscus District. This should be really interesting considering how massively infected it is. I've loaded up on grenades, loaded up on weapons, loaded up on power for the weapons. All in all, I am way decked out. I've also got a bunch of level 3 reactors being built right now so that I can power up my reactor to full, like, as much as I can. And basically power everywhere is the hope anyway. Okay, looks like we've got side areas. Sorry, I thought I was hearing something weird. Okay, let's head in. Hi there. Oh, hi there. Once again, a bad start. Well, that was not how I hoped to begin things. Walk in, get punched. Sideswipe, I didn't even realize was there. Alright. Gotta be more careful. So far, so good. A pretty big area. Go, little beetles, go away. Okay. Yeah, nothing major here, it seems. Well, I was expecting there to be something in here. Like, hostile. No matter. Just take what I can. Looks like this place is pretty barren of anything useful. Alright, I'll take those. Better than nothing. Check. Alright, what about here? Better keep my distance considering I can't dodge or run. Security stations, it looks like. And once again, once again, nothing I want really, besides a few things. And that weird blue texture, which I'm thinking must be infection, because it looks like it's on the desks too. So I'm, I'm guessing that weird blue texture. The veins that you can see here, they must be somehow related to the infestation. I could be wrong, but they could have just really bad taste in decoration. I don't know. bit angrily, I'll kill your buddies. Oh, 
go back for you. Okay. die somehow or were they just separated sometimes there's that glitch where the they end up separate from their parent spawned off somewhere else in like a crop separated by a door or something that could be what happened to them. all right this is interesting and at least we're finally getting some rooms that are different so Alright, so there is some variation on a few of these places. In this case, it seems to be some sort of computer terminal. I'm guessing this next room is going to be a power station. From what little bit I just glimpsed of it. Also, it's through the idea that it would fit kind of with the computer concept. Yep, the power station. So I'll use it. Oh, hey, power. Didn't expect that. LEDs, nice, good stuff. What about this room? Scooter. Stuck on a pipe. These things can actually punch. What? Like, it looked like it was punching me anyway. That's... Wow, I didn't know they could do that. It's like they only spit. Okay. Purple. Purple. Okay, well bad. Got a power station to recharge at, so nice. Let me save after getting all that cleared. Where's the map looking? No clear setup here as to which way it's going to lead to us. Oh, what the? I didn't even see that one there. It's been just around the corner. Okay, that one officially snuck up on me. Also got my suit replaced on the stairs because my other suit was really badly damaged. Whoa, dear. Let me just get back a bit. I don't like opening doors and having that in my face. No thank you. But I am happy that this one seems to be, this room, this floor at least, I mean, hopefully this whole district is taking on some uniqueness. Because I was getting tired of running into the same thing all the time. Yeah, this is definitely different. I mean, same stuff, but different set. It's being used a little bit differently here. That I can appreciate. Hi there. Okay. This 
big guy. Stay away, except for I'm not sure if this is supposed to be grass or carpeting I'm seeing on the ground. The glass, uh, not glass, grass plots. See it being that. Okay. So that area looks like it bends back around towards the area where I first entered. Um, okay, I'm a little disturbed by the fact that this is so empty. Take those, that, no problem with that. Oh, this place is stocked up. Oh, this is not a good place to get trapped. Now, bye. All right, that's what I get for raiding before I fully cleared the area. Now then. Who let you out? Bad door open. Bad. Okay. Well, at least I found some new med kits. So I can patch myself up. Huh. This is a very interesting area. I'm liking it. I mean, this whole variety of everything here that I didn't have in most other areas. Actually, that weighs a lot. I'm not gonna bother with that. Stylus, I'll take that, take that. Eh. Contamination pills, might as well take them. They're light. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's explore the rest of this area. This looks like a medical building setup of some sort. Actually, rather extensive. At least medical supply wise. I'm not seeing a ton of. Like, I'm not seeing beds or anything. So maybe this is like a drugstore? I can see that being the case. Yeah, I could see this being a drugstore or something. Because, I don't know, different sort of layout. Yeah, I'll take that. Once again, they have decontamination pills, so why did people have to evacuate? Did the decontamination pills not work for everyone? I could see that being a possibility, maybe. Or there's more to this than they've told me. I'm wishing there was more story out here. Okay, that one med kit's done. Might as well pop a second one of the lesser med kits. Alright, nothing there I want. Ah, here we go, patient rooms. Guess the gateway. Looks like it. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, a bunch of little rooms. Is there a fuse array? I guess I did. Lots of 
drugs, that's for sure. But yeah, it looks like maybe a clinic. I don't know. Interesting. I like the variation. We still haven't found the elevator, though. That's interesting. It's gotta be around here somewhere. I mean, we're pretty well through this floor, as far as I can tell. So, where is it? Oxygen in this place, given that. Ah, here's the elevator. Interesting. Very central. Usually there are more on the outskirts. Oh, hi there. Tigreen. Alright. So, the stairs are up north, and the elevator's in the middle. What's this little side area all about? Hmm. Oh, hello. I want to see that bug with the color of the floor and everything. this little side area about? Is this residential? Kinda looks like it. Bunch of rooms. There's the open doors. Did you dodge that way? Stop opening doors. Alright, let's secure this area before I poke around in any of these rooms. Like, because problems like that could occur. Okay, this is an interesting com combination. The big guy basically serves you as a meat shield for the spitter. Okay, you got me fair and square with that one. Oh good, another big guy. Uh, don't get stuck. Fix. Okay. Oxygen's getting a bit low, but I should be okay for the time being. There's a lot more to this place than I thought it was. Yeah, this looks like some sort of apartment, but with a, like a residential kitchen, not just like like a uh, what would be the right word for this? A uh, community kitchen or something maybe. Interesting. Alright, yeah, I know my oxygen scheme low. I'm not worried yet. Okay, I'll take those spoons and forks. They appear to recycle for a lot of metal compound. And they aren't super heavy. So, cool. Okay. That room was big enough that I figured it was worth exploring it. Okay, kill the big guy in the hall. Then I'll deal with the last few. I swap out my oxygen. Still got a bunch of these level 2 oxygen things. I really should replace them with level 3 ones soon. Oh dear! Don't like you in my face. Get back. 
<sighs> this is why I hate tight quarters. This game is really good at making tight quarters a dangerous thing. Alright, so we got a bunch of residential. And let me guess, the community restroom is down here. That's what it looks like. Okay, clear, clear. Don't like these little areas. Okay, we're safe. Got a couple of cabinets. Good stuff. Alright. Now to clear out these rooms. Then we can head downstairs. Once again, the level is a bit bigger than I like. I prefer smaller levels that are easier to clear. Quickly and everything, less nooks and crannies. But I am grateful that this is moderately diverse from other things I found. You know, I'll take those for now. I don't know if I'll hold on to them or not, but I'll take those grenades. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. I'll take the grenades for the time being. They seem to be something I go through a lot of. At least once I set myself to use them. I haven't used them much on this area, but... Alright, we are good to go. Is that everything on this floor? Lots of little rooms on this floor. But at least we are clear. Okay, I'm gonna close that door. That way when I start using the elevator, I don't have to worry about visitors coming in from the sides. We'll run up here and recharge that. Okay, gotta keep an eye on my exhaustion. Also haven't had a mutant invasion in a while, which is getting me worried. Part of it may be because I'm beating down some of the infection levels. Like even though it's high in like these in this area and this one and that one other outer area I haven't been to yet. It's moderately decreased in a lot of the other areas, so maybe that's helping reduce the mutant invasion percentage chance. I'm not quite sure what controls that. I don't know how that mechanic works. Whether it's just like something that randomly happens, or whether it has to do with certain infection levels. So, one of those things. Still haven't figured out. Die now. Thank you. Don't like getting backed into a corner. Don't like these little rooms with all these doors. Alright. Here. Okay, right. More doors. Lovely. Alright. Down. Alright, they love their doors on this place. Oh, big room. Big... Another one of these big, crazy, crazily empty rooms. Making me nervous. I'll take these bottles. Cans. Those recycle for a lot, and they are light. So I don't have to worry about carrying a ton of them around. That. Okay. Well, at least I've got a nice open area to run around in if I have to. It's nice to have uh, an, a bit of an arena to work with. And given my health status, I'm going to take a decontamination pill because I can, and take a basic medical kit. Alright. Dumpsters. Those. Oh! Oh dear, no. Ah, bother. Well, good thing I saved. Continue save game. And that's why I save often. Because nasty surprises happen. Like a door opener opening a room into a place. 
filled with monsters. Man, did they catch me off guard. Immediately, I blew myself up there, but I'm pretty sure I was dead there anyway. They were way too close and personal. Alright, grenades for everyone. One more. I think that would be enough grenades to clear up the main board. Man, that's a lot of monsters in one spot. I do not appreciate when they do that. They apparently really like offices. These little conference room office rooms, whoever they are. These seem to be their primary spawn zones other than like weight rooms and the like. I suppose it makes some sense. They're more communal areas. So more likely that people will be there, less likely people will be in the dumpster area throwing out trash or something. So, yeah, I guess that makes sense in some ways. Maybe that's how they've worked out some of their reasoning behind where things go. I don't know. What I do know is, that was way more monsters than I care for. And I went the wrong way. I don't want to go down into that dead end. Ow. Gotcha. Okay, now, what was I doing before I died last time? That's right. Using health pack, using a decontamination pill. Okay. Hoo wee Yeah. Did not like that. That caught me off guard big time. Ow. I don't like you door openers. Stop making my life difficult. Is he still stuck on the vending machine? He is. Good. Hmm. What to make of this area? Pop another med kit. Finding does not seem to be the greatest asset. I mean, they work okay, but when it comes to objects in their paths, they seem to have some difficulties. Did that blow up already? What is wrong with that grenade? That grenade should have blown up way long ago. They had way more than enough motion and monsters to trigger it blowing up. And I was a bit bad about that and got beat up. <sighs> Seriously? Oh, 
Well. Where's the infection of this, of this place at? 73%? I guess that explains some of it. The whole horde of monsters and whatnot. There. I really want to know why that grenade that I first threw up there didn't go off right though. Because that cost me pretty badly. Really oh, died. Didn't see you sneak up on me. No one opened these doors. Way too many level three and four monsters. Okay, we're using a big med kit. I did not do good there dodging things. open hallways. I don't like that. That means there's a lot of open areas where things can run up run up and grab me from behind. I'll take that. Take that out of the way so I can check this last one. Good. And I'm getting tired out. And this is what? It's only floor two? Okay. Well, at least this is a dead end. Don't worry about more critters coming from there. Doors that are actually closed. Better check this hallway up here. And then. looks interesting. I don't know quite what I'll find here. Alright. Oh, hello, Spitter. So that's what I'll find there. Okay, wait, I want to close that door. I want to pick up stuff. Toothpaste, shampoo, I'll take those. Vodka, soap, or yeah, soap. Take that. Another spitter, much less advanced though. Oh, this room looks interesting. More med kits. I'll take those, considering how much I'm game punched. In fact, I'll pop another one in. There's that mutant invasion I was expecting sometime. Still gonna complicate my life. I swap out my battery pack. And thermal suit. I think... That's how this is going. I should be able to get at least three floors. The question is whether I'll be able to get a fourth or not. I'll die. There we go. not found the elevator or the stairs on this floor. Ah, uh, the low level ones die so easily compared to the high level ones now. Alright, this egg is holding up pretty well, so... About as well as a egg, I guess, so... Maybe its size doesn't matter as to whether or not 
that said the house of these. Okay. It's another waiting area. Really? Alright. Yep, nothing to grab. I see you in there. Place my oxygen and thermal. Thermal and oxygen. Good. Another one of these office rooms? Alright, seriously guys, where did you hide the elevator? Elevator and stairs. They have to be here somewhere. We're running out of places to hide them. I'm guessing they're up in the upper area though. Might as well grab everything since I'll have to head back before too long to intercept the mutants. I'll give myself at least two hours to get back because I can't remember how far away this was from Central. At least the spitters, even the big ones, don't take as many hits as the big punchers. They seem to be the tanks, the guys that can just absorb all the pain. Okay, so that leaves up here as the area where the stairs and the elevator has to be. Don't mind you, little guys. I'll take that. Thank you. Grab that. Grab those. Grab that. Lots of smart glasses. Scissors. All in all, I'm doing pretty good in this game right now. I mean, we're on day 21, heading towards 22 pretty quick, but we've held up pretty well in this game, I think. Made it through a lot of the game so far. Maybe not all the game, but I think a good chunk of it. And at least I think we're through a good chunk of it. I could be wrong. It's hard to say for sure. All right, we've got eight hours. Maybe I can clear the next floor still. If I'm liberal with my grenades. Oh, I need to make more grenades so I get back to central also. Once again, still have to make more grenades. I wanted to make more before I left, but uh, I could only make so many because uh, they use titanium, which is one of the basic stuff that you can get like right from the beginning. Like, a level 1 chip for the mine. And I ran out of titanium. Or at least enough titanium to really get the... Like, a pack of 20 grenades. I didn't want to make a lesser pack. Because, yeah, just didn't see much point to it. Okay, I need to replace that. Gun. All right. Go. 
Ah, oh, my backpack was full. Okay, I gotta throw a few more things on the ground real quick. There we go. Now I have to pick these up. Now I can build this. Alright, that's the problem of having a full backpack. Pick up all that. Pick up all that. Okay. Alright, I gotta speed clean this floor. You die now. Thank you. Clear. Clear. Let's see how fast I can get through this. Why is made acting here? Are these people, or I say people, but how are these creatures surviving? Like what I'm throwing at. Okay. Everything I can. My backpack's full, so I can't grab new items. I can grab a bunch of these other ones. There we go. Not bad. Okay. Clear. About five hours left in the game to get this floor clear and hit my minimum goal of three floors. At which point, if I, I'll have to go back and I'll probably end the episode there. Even though I'd like to get four floors clear. Um, going back at three, I might as well just re pair everything and get ready to go for another run, given that stuff will be pretty broken down at that point, equipment-wise, so I've already got stuff breaking. the least deadly and yet most deadly enemies because while you yourself lack a punch of actual ability bring a lot of other things to me which do pack a punch this looks like a medical place all right not bad okay take those with me Hey there, you're big. They got two criticals. There are three. Man, even with three criticals, those still took a lot of hits. Okay, safe. We're clearing fast through this floor. Maybe I can make four if I really push it, but that seems unlikely that I'll be able to pull it off. Got the med kit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be lucky to get through this floor. It's pretty, it looked like it wasn't too big, but now it's trying to look bigger. I've gotten into certain parts of it. And I'm right into a lot of scattered groups like these. Where's just Oh, hello there. So much for scattered groups. Okay. Um die. There's enough. 
effective combination having the big guys work as meat shields. Okay, one second. I gotta plug my laptop in. Come on, come on. Here we go. Sorry, everyone accidentally killed the power. Or not the power, the uh accidentally killed the uh volume. Okay. I need to swap out some things real quick. It's like my power pack and my weapon. Oh, the weapon off. Wait. I'll swap out that one that broke them. Clear, clear. Clear. I don't know what there are so many of them. They came from one of these rooms. Exactly. I can there. Alright. Clear, clear. Okay, you got it. That was a good one. Medkit. Drop a few items on the floor for a moment. So I can swap out my weapon without it giving me trouble. Install. Uh, let's see. What do? Burning through weapons pretty quick still. All those. That. This looks like another medical room. No, oh, wait. No, wait. Maybe just offices. <laughs> Stuck on that chair. Okay. I'll clear this floor. We'll clear this floor. more doors than I want. Way more doors. This place is huge. I need to clear this before the zombie before the mutants arrive at my central command. I've only got a couple more hours. Out of my way. Move it, move it, move it. You can all die. Yes, all of you. There we go. Not you viewers. You guys, no dying. That's usually bad. This place is strangely spread out for monsters in a lot of cases. I mean, not to say that there aren't areas where there were piles of them, like that one room, but a lot of this is areas where you're only right into a couple monsters at a time. And that's usually a nice thing, but right now it's actually not. I would very much rather have fewer rooms and punch through a bunch of enemies all at once. Come on, die. Yeah, that's right. That's right. 
right. You hit that grenade for you. through this place. I think. Really hope so. So have to find the elevator too if I'm gonna get upstairs in a timely fashion though. I should really approach all the I really should approach every level with this much haste. Helps speed things along. Especially if they're gonna be this ginormous. Ah, I don't have room for any of that. I don't feel like taking the time to clear a room for it. As much as those chemicals will probably probably be useful in some form. Just no. Don't have time. I'm pretty tired. My guy's like right on nothing. On fumes. Exhaustion wise. Okay, we got the exit. Clear, this would be the stairs. Just confirm. Yes. Okay, confirmed. So we found the stairs in the elevator. Now I'll try to clear this floor before time to run. Two more hours. That's maximum I'm giving myself to clear the rest of this place. I think we're most of the way through. We got a door down there, a couple doors up there. Door over there. Ah, oh, man, a ah, door there. Okay, this place is huge. This is ginormous. Let's start down at the bottom, though. Ah, exhausted. Save. Okay. Yeah, here where I can kill you. Thank you. Okay, nothing. Nothing. All right, I actually had room for those. Interesting. Didn't ex really expect to have room for the, both of those gems. Okay. One more door down here, down there. Okay. Onto that. Ah! Oh, it's one of your rooms. And I'm out of grenades. There we go. Caught it with your face. Not the recommended way to catch a grenade. In fact, it's usually recommended that you not catch a grenade. It's bad for your health. Particularly if the pin's been pulled. Though, I'm not sure if these grenades technically have pins. They may just have... I don't know. Hard to say. No, no, no. Pop a med kit. Hope I didn't accidentally drop anything I didn't want to and forgot to pick it up somewhere. That would be a pain. It's possible, though, I may have accidentally dropped stuff and not picked it up. Easy enough to do. Okay. Almost full on everything, but making do. I was, I was actually expecting the elevator and stairs to be up in this area, but oh, hi! Grenades for you. Now that I got rid of those level one grenades, I. Have. So now just to burn through these. And now I have some more level 2 grenades. Uh, level 3 grenades. There we go. We'll take.
Take those. Save. Alright. Let's get this side door over here next. Okay. The name on the plate says Veronica Jones. Ooh. I didn't expect to find this. At least have something story-wise. Yeah, I was not expecting to find something like this. At least not here. Okay. Veronica Jones. Veronica Jones. She was... Biosphere chip. Ah, not the research chip I need. Agent Morgan's report. Ah, I can't carry anything else. Alright, throw these in here for now. And Agent Morgan's report. Agent Heather Morgan reporting in. There have been no suspicious... Suspicion so far, sir. The mission was a success. I tried to apply for a research intern position at the Biosphere, but because my specialty didn't lie in research, they wouldn't take me. Another option became clear. Administration. Starting as a secretary, I managed to infiltrate the administration of Spirit Plaza fairly quickly. I shot up the hierarchy. My superiors tended to be accident-prone when I was around. It hadn't even been a year before I became district manager of the, of the plaza. As a district manager, I was placed in charge of everything that occurred in the plaza, including sanitation and safety and food storage. I took samples from the restaurant's pantry, cross-analyzing them with a sample from Earth. It was a match. Listeroisis was in Mars food supply as well. I gathered evidence and found that the produce originated from the biosphere here at MPO. I lobbied the council shortly after. At least the time seems to have frozen while I read this. The council heard my case and agreed it was bad for tourism and profits. I nominated myself as head of the investigation with a little greasing of the wheels I was put in charge. My first order of business was to inspect the biosphere's facilities. Curiously, many produce items weren't infected, but I ended up finding the source, Mars lettuce. The head researcher, Dr. Teyama, fought me every step of the way. That bastard was probably hiding this from everyone. I just know it. I'm going to lobby the council for direct control of the biosphere after I present these lists. This steroisis samples and then find out what Dr. Tama knows any way I can. If this was a direct attack on Earth, I plan on secretly extraditing him so that he can be properly charged with bioterrorism. And keeping the evidence in a safe house I set up in the Ares district, just in case I am caught. I am preparing to dispose of this alias. I will update when I have an ETA. I've already cleared the Ares district, and I'm. I don't recall missing any doors. Aries District. Let me do a quick check. Yep, all cleared. Oh, there is a door I missed there. Huh. How did I miss that? The question is, is, is that a door I missed? Or is that her door? I don't remember it. Maybe I really did miss that. Okay, we'll be heading back to there real quick. I'll do with the mutant issue after I clear this floor. Then we'll hit that and we'll end this episode. Because I want to know what that is. Make sure that like, if that's what it seems to be. Alright, let's take that and that. I'll leave the wind right here. Watch. Got the biosphere chip. That's why I really want. Level 3 Biosphere Chip will help with a lot of things. Almost clear with this floor. I think I have enough time to. Hurry and clear it. Come on, come on. Should only be this last room. Oh good, it's one of these rooms. Take everything I can. Okay, we're out of here. Still, I'm wondering, did I already run into Zeronica Jones' place and search it? Thinking, like, was that her... Was she the one who had the storehouse? I don't think she was. Oops, I went the wrong way. I need to go south. Okay. So... Oh, I'm out of oxygen. That's bad for my health. Uh, oxygen. This will do. Okay. Whoo-wee. 
Well, I didn't get nearly as far as I was hoping. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If I can get four rooms, uh, four floors cleared in the next two episodes, though, I hope to be able to finish this place up still within three episodes total. But, okay. I'm really curious about this other area, though, because if that... I really actually hope I missed the Zeronica Drones place there. Okay, one hour. Good. I'll make it before them because that means I missed a piece of story that I couldn't have gotten before anyway because I didn't have a key card I don't believe well let me check my supplies uh, that's not the right thing I need to check inventory okay key card Zeronica Jones yeah so maybe there's an extra Zeronica Jones key card maybe this is a new area that I haven't been in and I, if it is, I want it so bad. Oh, story potential. I love story. So yeah, we're going to run up here. I'm going to... Give me my current state of things. I'm going to jump in a bed real quick. Two, three, four, five. No. Okay, that's good enough. I'm a little bit rested. Run up here now. Just in time to launch the defense system. I won't even take the... Let's see, I'll throw things in the repair station, I think. But that's about it. Continue. Okay. Do that. Alright. Let's deal with this, then I'll throw a few things in the repair station to repair while I travel down to Ares. Material I missed. Blast invasion. Oh, ho, that's a lot of things. This is worth a bit. That's a lot of monsters. They're getting serious with these invasions. Hopefully they didn't do a heavy damage. Let me check reactor status. I'm still good. Still good. Got enough stuff here to make it through. Grab these droppings. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Hopefully that's everything. Run down here. Like I said, throw some stuff into the repair station. Uh, you and you. You're good, you're good. Both of these need to go into the repair station, but I can already repair two things at once, so... Yeah. That's done. Now we run down here. I'm gonna recycle just the quick recycle stuff. So that I have some room on me in case I find something good in that area down there. Okay. Let's go, let's go. I'll save. Yes. Uh, which floor in Ares was it? It was floor 9 or 8? 9. Okay. Ares District. Let's find out what awaits. I'm really hoping it's not just some dumb office space that I missed. I'm really hoping it's something story. Zeronica Jones' stash or something 
Because it builds on what I've already found. Maybe give some rough answers as to what might be going on here and what led to this mess. Seems there's definitely some illegal activities throughout this whole place. In fact, illegal activity seems to be the working, how this place runs. So, let's see, the elevator was this way. Okay, nine. I know what's in here. Okay. It's all the way over there. Down and left, mostly. Yeah. I Kill these things. Oh, hi there. These are only level one monsters. Or if it's because the infection here isn't super advanced. I mean, it's definitely progressed to a level where there's plenty of critters, but I don't think it's advanced to, it's been, it hasn't been here long enough for a lot of the big guys to grow. Okay, how far down do I have to go? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong side. I, I was looking at that side. Right, not left. Yeah, so far no big monsters, just a bunch of little guys. Easy peasy. Quick clears. Alright, this room. This isn't locked. Oh, great. So maybe I already got into Zeronica Jones' place? She said Ares, right? Yeah, she said Ares. So... Disappointed. Well, grab these while I'm here. Feed my disappointment to the recycling. Did I miss anywhere else? Nothing else is showing up here. Bother. Yeah, so maybe there is an extra Zeronica Jones keycard. Hmm. Because I don't think I missed anywhere. Looks like I've been in everything. I think there's clear. That's a nice small level. Oh, there's clear. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time they've given extra key cards, but oh, I'm still disappointed that this is a waste of my trip out here. Shame. All right, let's get out of here. I'm disappointed. Nothing new story-wise. Unless I'm seriously missing a room on that map somewhere. Or it look, or there's a room that looks like it's been filled in, but it hasn't. But that doesn't seem likely. The map system's pretty good. So... Hmm. Yeah, it must have been one of the rooms I've already been in. Was she the one that was hiding... She might have been the was she the one hiding the actual cave crystals or was that someone else? Maybe that's why I was finding. But still, I don't recall. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I've got to get back to central and restock and repair. Prep for returning to Ares and clearing that out. Got a pop a decontamination pill. That's getting unhealthy. I think once you get up to. I don't know, I'm not quite sure what levels affect what, but I think once you get up to 30 ish percent, then you actually don't heal when you sleep. 
So, yeah, we'll just pop that. Uh, still, that was disappointing. I was really hoping to find some piece of story I'd missed. And maybe I did. Maybe there's something hidden in there that I walked past. Like, I missed that one room. But, ah, uh, disappointment. Oh well. We'll head back to Piscis in the next episode. We'll clear the rest of these rooms. Well, not the rest of the rooms, but we'll uh, try to clear the next f four floors. Then it'll take another episode to finish up, barring there being further interruptions from mutant invasions. Still disappointed in that. I really want more story. I want more about what's going on here. At least it, I can be happy that I found that one piece with the with the biosphere chip. Which speaking of which I need to stick that in the researcher. Because uh that won't research my, itself. And it's a level three chip, so I can actually research it. Yes, let's throw that in. How long is that going to take? An hour or eight hours, it looks like. It's going to take a while. How are these coming along? Uh, still slow. Let's extract more nickel and more of that for titanium. Actually, let's get a bit more of that because I've been using a lot of titanium. And we'll get a bit more of that and some of these. Okay, let's get that, and that, and that, and that. <sighs> It'd be nice to be able to get some more high-level chemicals, since that will help me with being able to build some... Yep, still can't... See how much titanium that uses? It uses a ton of titanium for a 20-pack of photon grenades, so... You know what? I'm just gonna cancel nickel production. Cancel all these. Let's just get titanium right now. I need a lot of it. And I think that's the best I can do. Is my health going down? My health is going down. I need to drink something, I think. At least I noticed that before I jumped to bed this time die like the one time where I yeah that's what happened my thirst is too high. way too high let's eat something too okay and process these but I want higher level chemicals because then I can start making the best med kits and also I can make better well better everything all right, let's make some better thermal canisters while we're here. Better oxygen. Make three of those. Yeah, I think that'll be good. But then I'll be able to make more of these oxygen thermal canisters of the highest level, and that will do a lot towards being able to just take care of a lot of things without worrying about running out. And it'll prep me for when I try to leave Mars. Because I know that doesn't work out. And I'll be away from adequate resources for a while. Alright, gotta use the restroom. And then I need to jump in bed because I think I'm getting hurt because I'm exhausted. So, I'm going to save, and let's find out first, before I close this episode. No, I'm still getting hurt. Why am I getting hurt? Alright, it stopped. That had me worried there. Why was I taking damage still? Was that a glitch? Was it because, really because my, my, was it, I don't know what that was. 
I don't think I was bleeding or anything. That has me worried. All right. And I need to grab some more med kits before I go. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all this. Hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! I have to go here.